program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. Bone Sound Silver Stick Turner at U16A final here on Rogers TV this afternoon. Coming to you from the Bayshore Community Center. Ken Williams, Gord Chapman bringing you the game this afternoon. And uh, this one's up in the air. I'm not even sure from what we talked about earlier. Bone Sound shorthanded because of suspensions and a few <laughs> things. And uh, uh, looks like uh, uh, St. Thomas uh, could win their third championship of the afternoon. Yeah, who, it looks, um, I think it's the first championship we've had today where the two teams actually played each other in pool play. And, and I think St. Thomas beat Owen Sound 5-1. Yeah, I don't know the status of players. It looks like Owen Sound's down a few players. Um, but you never know. I mean, uh, that one tie that St. Thomas had, uh, it was against Guelph and, and Owen Sound. Uh, anyways, you never know. It's, it's hockey. They're kids. Um, this means a lot this game, of course, right? Everybody's looking to get that invite or, uh, or I guess, lock up that spot at the New Market International Finals, January 26th to the 29th. So I, I, you never know. I mean, I've, I've tried to pick a couple of the games that we've already done today, Gord, and, and I, um, if I had bet some money, I would have lost some money today. So um, I'll stay neutral here. Well, the one thing we, we found out is that we were getting all four goals and all four three games we've done so far. What's amazed me of all three games at each late level, how good the goaltending is. Goaltending's been fantastic so far today. And you uh, we've talked a lot about the goaltenders for uh, every every team, each game that we've done today, and, and I wouldn't expect anything different this game. And, and it, it, which is kind of amazing because uh, it, it seems to be that, I don't know whether it's just the coaching or whether it's the, 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 the emphasis on goaltending, but I, that's the one thing I've noticed the last three, three years of minor hockey is the difference in the, in the, in the goaltending and, and the ability of the players. It used to be an afterthought with goaltending, but now these guys are coached. No, exactly. I agree 100%. It makes a huge, huge difference. So, of course, we're getting set to do this own sound attack, and they looks a little shorthanded compared, considering the players that are over on uh, down around the goal at the other end. And we're, we're going to get set for this. This is the U16. And uh, Own Sound uh, Junior Attack, starting goaltender. Two referees now, minor midget. Two referees, two linesmen. Blackburn and O'Leary, referees for this game. There are some big kids on that St. Thomas team. Those aren't kids. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess, good point. <laughs> Boy, oh. the, cap, the captain, number 17. Well, I'll tell you, that number 27 is a uh, Carson Smith wouldn't look out of place on a Raptor bench. Back have the puck in their own zone lost. Taylor picks it up and just about gets away. Got to make sure that thing. Taylor, cross ice. There's the shot on goal and off the shoulder and up over the back of the net. Nathan Laycock. And he didn't get very far with it. Laycock sends it back into the zone. And that's Jonah Kerr. These kids are getting bigger too every year. Laycock off Kerr. Kerr gets off into the corner. Has trouble with a man right on him. Loose puck in front of the net trying to slide it through. Couldn't get it there. Kerr. Jonah Kerr in the corner, but can't hold on to it. Brock locking. Nice little stick check and then got it. Back off ice. Laycock in the zone, turns. Up this side and fired down the ice by Tegan Cunningham. Puck comes along this wall, picked up by number five, and that's Reed Solomon. Solomon takes the shot, and it's knocked down at the defense, and here comes St. Thomas is going to dump it in. Just by the goal, chasing in That's after. That's going to be a penalty for sure. This, this isn't. Number 91. Cooper. Cooper. 
heading to the penalty box, and their faceoff goes down the length. Bone Sound's first opportunity on the power play. Nothing really exciting happening in either game. You're gonna see the penalty happen right here. Slides him into the net, or to the boards in behind. I don't think it was a full-fledged check. Number 77, I guess we got a number. It's Ty Shouldice, as we just find out. Changes up all the way around on both benches. Bone sound on the power play. Yeah, but decision is, I think, is how you pronounce it. So, but Supi likes the name, so we will call him that. Back to the to the blue line, just fired back into the corner, trying to set it up, and there was a chance, but St. Thomas just closes down that box and did a nice job, and then gets control of the puck, throws it down the ice. In behind the goal, own sound attack, having an opportunity to go further with the silver stick in January. It's gonna be an icing. Johnson icing. couldn't get a hold of that puck, and the icing it is. Under 16. You see a shot of the Woolwich, or pardon me, the St. Thomas bench. Forget where we are, I was. St. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas had the dark greens on the last time and Woolwich had the whites on, so. Sorry about that, boys. Vegas couldn't go out the pass. And Zilster brought it inside. And uh, offside, of course, and uh, didn't wait for his partner to get out. Not much going so far in the power play here. Switch the lines up. We'll see what the second unit brings here. Pass off a stick. Still on the power play zone. Some but haven't done much. Laycock gets in the slot area, and the puck is stolen, and it just hits the score clock. Boy. I haven't seen that done too often in no. <laughs> minor hockey, but uh, first time today for sure. But uh, face off is in deep. Power play. Own sound. Shot off a body in front. By Ty Shouldice. There's a stick. Buck into the corner, off the glove. Trying to get it back to the point. Shouldice has a chance in front. Little back pass, but nobody there. He just fired down the ice. Could be a shot on goal. Is going to do that. Shouldice is number seven. Shouldice has the puck and has trouble with it. And, and then again, knocked down the ice. And this time it should be icing. No, it went off the glove of Laycock. Leacock in to get, tried to soft pass in behind the net and then stolen. By Soupy. There's a oh. shot. Ouch. Ouch. But if you're gonna, you got equipment, that didn't hurt that much. <laughs> now if it goes off the foot, yeah. that's a different <laughs> ball game. <laughs> Shoulder dice in behind his goal, just passes it right back out. To Matthew. Michelle, Michelle. Laycock took his man out. He hit Grant, knocked him down. Just knocking that puck in deep and changing up. Here comes the attack in their own zone. Pass up to Cunningham and he heads to the bench. Power along the boards. Power on the right wing. Gonna take a shot. A little bit of trouble with it. Trying to figure out who's the starter. I think it's number one, Liam I Cook. Think that's Liam Cook in that, yes. <laughs> and Haggerty is number 30 or 40. Hey. Looks like number 31 in that down there for St. Thomas. Locking. Trying to get that puck through to Solomon. Solomon up over the blue line. He's being hang. 
I thought it should have been a holding call, but uh, you know the Blackburn and O'Leary didn't think so, so that's okay. <laughs> Long lead pass up to McKay McVicker, and he couldn't hang on to it. Puck ends up on a on a St. Thomas stick. Bennett still trying to get control, just drives it back in the, behind the net to McVicker. Looking at the point is Hall, and the puck gets past the far side on it quickly. Locking, almost lost it. Heads up the board with it. Both teams, it seems, are feeling each other out. Just a, four minutes remaining in this first period. Behind the net, Mercer, and he gets unceremoniously dumped. Head check, no call. Puck is in behind the net. St. Thomas digging hard for it. Yes, would you want it? You, they're going to win it. If they do, they keep this up and bring it back out in front. There's a shot. Still haven't been able to stop it. And finally, the attack, get it out of the zone. Grant has it outside the blue line. Curtis Grant up to Mercer. Little tap pass and get a chance to come down the left wing. There's the shot. Nice save by Liam Cook. Held his ground, Grant again. Tried to get it through a hole in the middle of the ice surface. Grant off the side of the net, right out in front into the goal crease. As Holder had an opportunity to try and put it inside the goal, and uh, Liam Cook covered that side of the net really well. That's a couple scoring chances there for uh, St. Thomas. Nothing, nothing too dangerous for all the sound there. But you're looking at what's happening out there on the ice, and uh, the attack finally get it out of their zone. Leacock, power. There's a pass. That's a great stick by Leacock there. That uh, puck was going across. Number yeah. 91 wide open there. Probably would have been an easy tap in, but once again, nice stick by Laycock there to break that up. And Holder who had the right idea, get it across. Gibbons down the left side. Gibbons trying to get, does have it. Trying to, stops, turns, puts it right on the stick of A.J. Power. Power turns good. Laycock again. Nice poke check. Power again along. He just dumps it through center. Laycock coming back. There's a show. Oh, that was that handcuffed in there. Liam Cook just got that in time. Boy, that thing was labeled. Bad angle, but boy, he made the goaltender pay for that one. Because we saw a bad angle shot in the last game and it trickle in. Puck goes back in deep. Picking it up. Jonah Kerr. Kerr has it. Gonna start out. A little pass on a breakout pass along the down the left side, Taylor Bennett gets dumped. Adam Durganic. Durganic just takes it out, brings it out. Sam Taylor. Taylor gets stopped. Got a chance two on two. McVicker. McVicker's going to drive the net. Take it out nicely to the corner by Carson Smith. Smith gets it back. Jonah Kerr is not going to pinch, so, but he gets the buckets off his stick, Clagus. And just off the wall and right way back inside, but Jonah Kerr picks it up. Kerr just drives it out, gets it out to Grant, and Grant tried to hit his man. McVicker, lead rep pass, gets it up to Clagus, and he gets stopped. Craig just shoots it back inside. Hall going to chase it down. Hall gets the puck. One thing you got to be careful is that cross-ice pass right in that slot area. Hawthorne. Got a piece of this right in front, and somebody was there but could. Johnson just couldn't get a stick on that. Great play by the St. Thomas defenseman there. Tie him up. And nothing illegal. Power down the right wing. Power on this wrong wing. It's in front, shoots it high over the top of the net into the 
into the netting and uh, well it's been a quick period it has been a quick period as well 29 seconds left here nothing uh, once again maybe two teams even though they already played each other in the round robin or the pool play maybe just feeling each other out here um, we'll see what happens here 29 seconds Owen Sound gets the puck takes it up ice Laycock going to chase it down in on top of it is Carson Smith. Smith along the wall to K. Chase Holder. Puck gets dumped in behind the net. Hall's going Hall's to pinch in, see what he can do with eight seconds. On it. Smith gets it out, but it's going to, that horn's going to go before they're going to be able to do anything with it. First period in the books. Last game of the Silver Stick Tournament here in Owen Sound. And again, we got to uh, say out a big shout out and a thank you to all the volunteers that uh, have been here at the arena, at both arenas, the Julianne here. The committee that's got it started, uh, without the, the volunteers, it's, these kind of things don't happen. Exactly. Parents have been just absolutely uh, fabulous in getting things organized and everybody doing their part to bring uh, a very, uh, a, a major event to Owen Sound. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Uh, Owen Sound, I think, you know what, if you're Owen Sound, I didn't see the first game where they played each other in pool play where uh, St. Thomas beat them, I believe, 5-1. But if you're Owen Sound, I'm sure that was part of your game plan. What didn't work that first game against St. Thomas? You know, you got to make some adjustments. And if you're Owen Sound, I think right now you're happy. Nothing, nothing. Would you want wanted a goal? Absolutely. But you got to be happy. It's nothing, nothing right now. Whatever game plan you've put in place, whatever adjustments you've made so far are working. Now you just got to find a way to get the puck in the back of the net. Well, there's been some controversy on this team and uh, trying to get things organized, get the kids playing. And there's Leacock at the center ice. Cunningham, watch these kids play. Um, this has been a long time, but since they've been at least uh, band, uh, 10 year old, so uh, a lot of them are still playing in minor hockey here in Owen Sound. Almost gave that away in front of his net. That's Laycock down the right wing. In full flight, Laycock being checked by Battaglia. We've heard that name a couple of times today. As his younger brothers and play for St. Thomas and the other team. Or cousins or something. Loose puck in the zone. Finally, the attack, get it, the junior attack. And then Smart makes a really nice play as he checks Hall. As he started to get wound up and heading over the red line. In after that puck, rise, Smart, Smart. Gets it back outside. There's a shot by Smith and just whistled that one wide. Back to Smith again. He's not going to waste any time off a of body in front. I think that hit shoulder ice. Back up to Grant. Tried to keep it in. As Tegan Cunningham tried to. Then it's just dumped down the ice. Not going to make it. Uh, they're going to call it. Going to call it icing. Yeah. I was wondering there for a second there. It was slowing down. Yep. You know, it was really cool. I just was looking out on the ice that the uh, St. Thomas team is wearing poppies. Yes. I, I never even noticed that. They have something yeah, affixed to their uh, their jerseys over there by the looks of it. Of course, folks, remember, they coming up on uh, the 11th, and uh, which is just a couple days away. So uh, take some time to reflect. And there's a shot just off the target. Reflect a little bit about what these folks have done to sacrifice for us as uh, in the freedoms that we have. Puck into the corner and that's big number 88, Zilstra. Twisting and turning, comes off the boards with the puck. It <laughs> tries to get around Kerr and knocks him down. Jonah Kerr made a nice play there. Silcox nice just play. drives it back into the zone, a little back pass in behind the net. Want that puck, you got to get on it. And that's a low, no, Nolan McIver gets it. McVicker, pardon me. Good play. Well, there's a little bit of contact. You could hear that as power. And collided with the Owen Sound player. Chasing down, Brock locking, locking. Rushes back, puck comes right back out to the blue line. Start all over. Kerr just fires it right back in. 
Got to forecheck it on that pass. It's number 97. Uh, we don't have a 97. Listra, I think it was. Just a shot just by the net. One was on and one just missed on the rebound. Got to do is get that puck to the net and then get look for those rebounds. Because I don't think you're going to get picture perfect goals in this game. Power. Twists and turns and then decides to back it up and then off and then gets it back after he got blocked and then fires it back in. Here come the attack. Still nothing, nothing here in the second period. Oh, there's that's going to be a penalty for sure. Power is going to the box for that. So no one's down to the power play here. Clegus. Great opportunity for Owen Sound here to take the lead early in the second period. Well, St. Thomas uh, has had some opportunities, but just haven't been able to get any sustained offense as we like to talk about. Yeah, there's the hit. Yep, that's a penalty. Power in the box. Owen Sound on the power play. Snyder on the point. Back to Snyder's. Snyder takes the shot, deflected in front, but wide, loose puck. Snyder taking it down the ice. He sees chasing it. Smart. Long lead pass and right on the stick. Number 93, Curtis Grant. Grant knows what to do, that he just got rid of it, put it back down the ice. Tack on him, coming down the left wing. Fired in behind the net. Gets set up, number 18, and of course that's Tegan Cunningham. Back out in front, nobody back at the point to get Defenseman, the loose. Defenseman Hall there, it snuck into the slot there, but under the puck leaving the zone. Once I was got to regroup here, get something set up. Still a minute left in this power play. Cunningham back passes it to Charlie Snyder, and Snyder couldn't corral it. Here come the attack through center and out of their own zone. Hall, and he's ridden out. Thought there might be a penalty there. Snyder off the goaltender and then iced. Chasing down after Cole, Cole Hall as he's going to pick up that loose puck behind the net as Cook just handled it and left it there for him. Through center ice. Ford got round one man. Got to head to the net, stops, turns. Got to look who's open. Back to the points. Good play. Gets it back to Reed Solomon. Solomon. Solomon across the side to Shouldice. Shouldice. Right into the slot. Oh. Right on a stick. And picked off by For Fortizi. Nice move by Fortizi. There's a hook. Now he's going to. That is a. For <laughs> Fortizi blocks the shot. Shouldice is, uh, he's not too happy with that call. That is a good call. You'll see the stick right there, up in the hands. Took away the scoring opportunity. Well, so. they'll play four on four for four seconds, and then uh, Owen Sound has to kill off a penalty. So, uh, but you know what? It's a good penalty as a coach. You've got to take one. That's where you take it. You don't Well, you know what? It all started there, unfortunately. That's a nice score. And you know what? That all started there, right? Bad pass here yeah. down the offensive zone by Owen Sound, sliding that puck through the middle there. It's led to that partial breakaway. Next thing you know, it's one nothing. St. Thomas here. Well, that's yeah. It, it's it, it was just a calamity of errors when it comes down. So, but this is a nice shot. He comes right in the slot. Boy, he picks it. Look at that high corner. It's a nice shot. Well, right where the keep the peanut butter. <laughs> I had to use that one expression yeah, yeah, today. Got to squeeze that in there at least once a weekend. Yeah, at least <laughs> once a weekend. Yeah. Actually, I really don't like that terminology. But <laughs> can of corn's the one I really hate. So we're just like, but that's where it was upstairs, top shelf. Chasing down hard for it. Reed Solomon. Solomon gets the puck behind the net, then loses it off the end of the stick. Comes back out to this side. Sanderson has it. Sanderson cross ice. Here's a chance. Couldn't get his stick on it to get the shot. Loose puck comes out. That's a good shift after that goal against Owen Sound. It's a good shift for Owen Sound. Come back, try and dictate the play. Uh, keep the puck in the St. Thomas zone, dictate the play, and 
and they're looking for that next goal here. If they keep playing like this here, they're going to get the next one. 31 is Lucas J. Wilson, known as LJ. I think what, uh, but Wilson is in goal this afternoon. Haggerty played the game yesterday afternoon we did. Puck is in behind the goal. Kept at the blue line by Kerr. Kerr gets a shot blocked by Power. Power on nice play, defensive play. Then he got interfered with, but I guess that was inadvertently. Went to pick up the stick and go, there's a shot. Oh, oh wow. Good stop. That's a good shift by Curry. He's playing defense today. Uh, I don't know if that's because of the manpower shortage or what that is, but that's a great rush up the ice. Great scoring opportunity, and the puck uh, inches away from the goal line. Cawthorn takes the shot, deflected just wide of the net. Couldn't keep it in. It was Kerr chasing out after it is Locking. And Locking's taken into the boards by Silcox. Along the boards. Puck is there, power just back passes it. Nice. And then throwing the loose puck bouncing around. Oh, I tell you, Liam Cook had to make a stop <laughs> on that eye hand coordination with something else. Come the attack to Gibbons through center. Gibbons fires it wide. There's a loose puck, and Gibbons had a chance to get it. It deserves a change. And uh, he looked like he did that intentionally, figuring that puck was going to bounce out there. Clagus with Cunningham. Clagus slowly bringing it back across into the slot area. Stolen by Zilstra. And Zilstra just takes it up the ice. Nice stick by Charlie Snyder. He batted it away so he couldn't get. And then right on the stick of Taylor. Taylor back to the point. Shot wide of the goal. Zostra keeps it in. Wilcox, pardon me. Zostra in the corner. And finally, Liam Cook makes the save. Boy, I'll tell you that uh, that St. Thomas team can skate. They can skate. A couple of great shots there. And just capitalizing again, right? Uh, soft, soft clearing. Uh, play by Owen Sound didn't get the puck out over the blue line. The next thing you know, it leads to a shot or two on net. So, it looks like you oh. too many opportunities here. Fortese had wide open in front of that net, had the puck go off the heel of his stick. Coming on up ice is Bennett. Bennett, he gets checked over the board. Shoulder ice, we got that penalty, and it wasn't long before they put it in the net. Solomon, Solomon, there's a good setup. It's Teague, or Nolan McKay, Vic Vicker went right in on goal, but uh, he got a little too close for that, that quick backhand to go upstairs or anything. Yeah, nice pass there as well, quick pass. Uh, I don't know who went in over the, uh, the line there with the puck, had possession, but a nice quick pass. Didn't hang on it too long, and a nice shot on net here. Well, that's what you want. You want to create scoring opportunities. Yeah, Solomon, center. Yeah, a couple of opportunities Owen Sound had maybe to get a shot on net. And just maybe hanging on to that puck a little too long. And uh, the guy that was open, split second ago, no longer open. Bennett down the left wing on his wrong side. Puck back, way back out to Nolan McVicker could not corral it, but who stole it? it was 91 Soupy. That was Cooper. Position. Kept in at the blue line. And finally had got it gloved up to put it on his skate. And I wondered about that. No call on that, too. Oh, well. Let him play some hockey. Power. Down the left wing. Power. Turns around. And gets another one. That's power. That was a nice goal. Nice power move to the net. Paid the price afterwards there, took a big hit, but. You see Power going down the left wing, got around. Shoulder ice. That's a great drive to the net. Yeah. Then Kerr lays the big hit afterwards, but Power's not affected by that. 
Well, was happy puck, the puck was in the back of the net. If the puck hadn't gone in the net, it was a good hit. So I don't think it was, it was uh, deliberately after the goal. I just think it was a reaction to the. St. Thomas up 2 0, 523 remaining in the second period. Pack got to get a goal, get back in this hockey game. Hawk Cawthorn just fires it in behind the net, chases it down. Chase Holder in the corner, back to this side. You see, here's a pass coming up to Smith. Smith's going up the ice, trying to get around his man, and then he. I don't think that. No, there's nothing intentional there. I think he. Only sound player drove him a little bit there. And everybody's all right. Yeah, it was taken in. Hall took him into the goalie, so it was uh, wasn't a penalty and not goalie interference or anything like that. The attack. In their own zone, trying to get that puck out. They do. Nice lead pass coming through center. Fired it in deep. Going to chase it down. There's that pass off the backboard. <laughs> he knew it was coming. My thing was, I don't know why he didn't do it harder. <laughs> Cortese, number 77. And he had the puck stripped from him by Jonah Kerr. There's a shot by 57. I got to get this number so I don't hit my well, Carter Craig. I was looking for him before, but I thought. Cawthorn. Shoots it in, chases it in, changes it up all the way around on the attack. Down two to nothing. Time winding down here in the second period. Gibbons had a chance and was checked by Draganic. There's a shot, another goal. Chase Holder picked up the loose puck, took it in on goal. Boy, that's gonna make it tough. That's a tough road to hold now that you've got a tough mound to climb, whatever you want. Um, cliche you wanna use, but uh, this is a nice goal. Defense been there. Just couldn't get a handle on it for one sound. Next thing you know, in the back of the net. Nice, quick, hard snapshot upstairs. 3 0 St. Thomas. Uh, great pass by Power to get it across ice and put it on his stick. Called his name a couple of times today, and I like the way he's been playing. That puck goes off a stick. Masha Kelly let, let that fly. Three thirty-seven remaining in the second period. All of a sudden, this game has slowed down a whole bunch. It was pretty quick there for a while. A three-nothing for the Stars from St. Thomas. St. Thomas has had a tremendous day here at the Lumley Bayshore Community Center already. As two of their teams have won Silver Stick and are going to the tournament in Vaughn. Is it Vaughn in? Uh, in Newmarket. Newmarket. Newmarket, January 26th to the 29th will be the international finals. So we get a stop in play, and there's going to be a hooking call. And it looks like Mas Mascali is going to head to the penalty box. Doesn't look like he, uh, he likes the call. <laughs> Shaking his head, no, no, it no. It could be as blatant as they want. No, it's never still going to be no, no, call. no, it'll yeah. Be, be textbook. I wonder if they ever get to watch the video, and once they watch the video, they go, well, you know what, the ref made the right call. Well, I, it's possible. Attack on their second power play. We're successful in the last one. Got to move that puck around. Kerr, open man at the side back door. Couldn't get the shot away. The shoulder dice had a chance. Kerr again at the blue line. Into the slot. There Score! That's shoulder dice gets it. That's a big goal. That is a big goal. That's, that's, they, they really needed a goal there. That's nice. 3-1 here. 249 left in the second period. Gives them a little bit of momentum here to finish the period out. And shoulder dice, I think, is an AP, so... Yeah, and my guess is he is an AP. He's not on the uh, attack lineup. Um, for the roster that we were given. So with them being down a few bodies, my guess is 
they have the AP play. I don't have a copy of their official roster up here. That would certainly tell us. But three to one by uh, St. Thomas over the old sound attack. Three to one. Made good on that power play. Now one for one for the game. Buckets up the ice. Got by. That's Taylor. Taylor has a chance. Good stop. That's by a, Liam Cook. That's a big save right there by Cook for sure. Last thing you want to do is give up a goal after you just get it to 3-1. You don't want to give up a goal 30 seconds later. Offside. This rise smart didn't get quite get out of the out of the uh, zone offense. as the puck was shot back in. See Hall. Johnson. Then you're just going to shoot a baby. You've got to do that. You've got to go in and you've got to forecheck like your life depends on them. That's Agreed. one of the things they do. They shoot it in, but don't chase it. Nobody goes and gets it. Yeah. The, yeah. You know, the cliche is about getting the pucks in deep and stuff like that. But the other part is uh, dump and chase, right? Yeah. That's fine to dump it, but you've got to chase it. Somebody has to be going. Here come the attack over center. There's the shot. And Wilson makes the save. Lucas J. Wilson, known as LJ, to his team. Clagg is going to take the face off with Cawthorn. Mark, there's a shot. Oh, oh, that was a good save by Wilson as they got good wood on it. Wilson managed it to get his pad down and make the play. Close to uh, face off. There's a shot. Got did slowly got through, but easy to handle. Pack with some pressure. Gonna keep it in. Just shoot it back in. Chase it down. Puck comes off the backboard. Up this side to power. Power. Fires it hard and it goes back on this side. Reaching him to get that loose puck to Grant. Grant keeps it into the corner. Back this side. Grant again. There's the shot scores. Liam Cook didn't even see that because he didn't even move. Nope, but what a, a shot that was. That was. It was, was that power again? No, I, no. I think so, but I, I thought it was Grant from the point. Number Number 14. 14 is power. See, here's the uh, shot, oh, Grant. Oh, no, you're... Grant's going to... No, he gives it to power. I thought it was Grant that had the shot. There it is. Boy. That's a nice shot. Uh, Liam Cook heading to the bench, and we're going to see Kerrigan McGregor. McGregor goes back in the goal. Right in on, right off the bat, but then Nathaniel Gibbons couldn't get past the D. Kerr. Oh, that got right back into the goal crease. And then finally, McGregor just puts the big mitt down on it. Assuming it's tough to come in off the bench like that, partway through a game, cold, no warm-up shots. You know, it's been 45 minutes since your team came out on the ice to warm up pre-game. Nice to get a couple of pucks, feel a couple of pucks, make a couple of saves. Puck comes back at the faceoff, goes to the right, into the circle. Nathaniel Gibbons. Rock locking in behind his own net, puts it off the wall. Locking, trying to dig it out. Oh, there's a nice little hit. Doesn't have to be hard to eliminate somebody in a game. Locking got crunched right below us at the penalty box. Puck comes back to the blue line. Smith. Smith's going to carry it in. He's going to take the long shot off the blocker and up into the screen. 
as McGregor grabs the puck. Has it come off the screen? Puck off into the corner. There's a shot coming back out to the blue line. Silcox, twist, turn, gets a chance. We're gonna put it towards the net, doesn't. Puts it back into the corner. Two for Fortesi. Fortesi couldn't get in the attack, bring it out, but just stopped the center ice. There goes the horn. Somebody's yelling 57 white figure should get a penalty. Interesting call there. I was just wondering, basically. Oh. So, I want to a great opportunity here. 4-1 going into the third. Two-minute power play. Looking for a goal here. Important thing for Owen Sound, keep your composure. Even if you don't score on that power play, the last thing you want to be doing is heading to the box and giving St. Thomas an opportunity on the power play. Especially with uh, they'll, they'll end up four on four for a length of time and then St. Thomas goes on the power play. Yeah, they got to do something with the timeout. So. One period remaining in the Silver Stick Tournament here in Owen Sound. I'm pretty sure that uh, this is going to be decided in this period. One way or the other. So St. Thomas up four to one. Base off at center ice. Subi's going to get the draw with the tag on one wing. The Vicker on opposite him. Shoulder ice. At center, there's a long shot down the ice. Shoulder ice got the goal on the power play the last time. Here they come. Up to Shouldice from McVicker. Hall on the point. Along with Schneider. Picked off by, by 91, and that's Soupy. I'm going to give up trying to pronounce his name. <laughs> Although I think it's decision, so uh, Hall back to Shouldice. He loses it. Two on one. Zilstra down the right wing gets the shot. Loose puck in front, and that was close. Because McGregor made the save, but that rebound just was out there, and it was juicy. Taking it down the wall, and that's Reed Solomon. Solomon in behind the goal. Coming back up front, a little back end. Got to use the points here, boys, and get that. Puck around and they haven't done it yet, so. And it's just fired down the ice, gonna be a shot on goal. Nope, gonna miss it. But playing it smart was McGregor. Shoulders coming through center. Shoulders, he's a big boy, nice move. Get through, passes it off to Johnson. Johnson has a chance, threw it right into the logo. Easy save. Of Wilson, and uh, yeah, you're right. That's an easy save. Silver stick tournament here in Old Sound, and again, uh, boy, people have certainly enjoyed their weekend up here, and it's all about hockey. And uh, like I've been saying, it's a shot from the point. Still on the power play, 17 seconds left. Try to. There it is, it's a long shot, shoots off the body in front. As Jonah Kerr had a chance. Kerr has it at center ice, penalty is over. Laycock, he loses it to the puck, gives it off to Craig. Craig comes in on goal, off a leg, and I believe that was Clegas that stopped that. Long pass by Laycock. 
Try to put it on the stick of Maddox Johnson and then just went off the tip of his blade and Puck is going to go down the ice and get a stop and play. Hey, can you imagine being a, a center, I guess? You know, we talked Sarnia, Essex. A couple of those teams that we saw earlier, you know, you sign up for the silver stick. You know, oh, we got to go to Owen Sound in November. Planning for the worst and you end up with sunshine and 20 degrees in November. Well, I... Uh, Two things, it's great to have this weather, but the, the, the big picture is just this global warming. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. I, think I just started up my snowblower to make sure it worked. I, I think in November 1. I, I did the same thing there last weekend just to make sure, because you hate to be caught off guard that first big dumping, because you know we're going to get it, and we're probably going to pay for all this nice weather. That's the last thing you want to do is put the garage door up and the snowblower won't start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get the oil changed and check the spark plug and... But you hate to think of those things, but you got to be prepared and uh, got to make my way down to the arena. I can't have snow in my driveway. <laughs> Wilson this handles the puck in behind his net. Twelve minutes left in this period. Through center ice. Back to this side. There's a shot off a leg by Rise Smart. Hill, Supi gets it, keeps it in. Zilstra, far side, bouncing puck. Taylor, and it gets dumped down the ice, chasing on after it. It's Carson Smith, Smith. Up to big 91, and we, that's, we call him Supi, and that's what he wants to be known as. I still got to figure out how to put... The actual pronunciation, yeah, or the actual been. last name, I mean. Yeah. Not that I'll be able to say once I learn it, but uh, Smith at the blue line. Back to the other point, back to this side. It's good shot by Matthew Muscali. Muscali's a big boy. You look at that number 12, 17. He looks like he could step into a lineup on a junior club. He's a big kid, tall kid. So he's probably being scouted. Kerrigan McGregor. Back to power. Power at the point. Still trying to... They're on this power play. Here's power again. Smart hockey player. Gets the rebound. Is a nice play here by the attack. Again, good block. Puck goes into the corner. Maddox Johnson tries to get it out. Troll ice. Seen a lot of ice time. For not being on the roster. Power. Again at the blue line. Passes it back. There's a slot. Mescali had a chance. <laughs> He's just so big. Bennett gets oh, out. Good save. Nice pass, shot, and a great save by McGregor there. McGregor, you're right. That was Here come the attacks through center, possible three on two. It turns into, oh wow, there's a good play, good backhand shot, good goal, goaltending too. That's Wilson, who's able to, to get that big pad down and stop the play. Power again down the right wing. Well, he's played a huge role for St. Thomas today, for Tazy. Off a leg and it gets outside the line. Janik, he just knocks it back in to change it up. Quick changes now coming from the bench over. Want fresh players out there at all times. This time is starting to be a factor. You know, it's sound. Number 19, and of course, that's McVicker. McVicker takes it down the left wing, and then he's checked. Kept in the blue line by Snyder. Snyder towards the net, but off a of body in front and into the corner. Taken after, of course, too, is organic, and he can't, he's having some trouble with a couple of red shirts, and then he's unceremoniously dumped onto the ice. Here comes St. Thomas again. They just seem to be, when they get that puck, they take it up, bring it into the zone. Don't waste a lot of time. Organic again at the blue line. That's a high stick. A knockdown, Smith gets it. Smith gets knocked off the puck. And the attack bringing out the zone. 
Four one. Kerr all by his lonesome changing up. Taglia. Well, that's power again. Power just fires it high and wide. Trying to figure out why he would do that or try and get, but I guess it's just to make sure the puck doesn't get in trouble. Chasing after it, Smith. Smith pass up in this wing. Back to Power. Power gets a quick shot. McGregor makes the save. Eight minutes here. Eight minutes left, I should say. Sorry. Almost down. Certainly needs to mount something here in the next couple of minutes. Get a puck in the back of the net. Well, this uh, this three goal deficit is a uh, is a is tough to do, especially in the third period when you got to put pressure on, then the sticks become heavier and the gloves become tighter. Because you know that you got to do something, then you don't want to make the mistake that's going to cost you another goal. So right. pressure comes even on these young kids. On a Sunday afternoon, oh, pass right across power right there. Read it, got it done. Knocked the puck into the corner. Gibbons gets it out. Long lead pass. Took it off. Nolan McVicker couldn't growl it. St. Thomas. Boy, can't you see the St. Thomas doing another thing too. I, I, I. I would be very surprised if St. Thomas doesn't win this hockey game. It's not that I want to uh, jinx or shortchange the attack on their effort this afternoon, but this seven, this three goal lead is with seven minutes to go is and play scrambly and scrappy. And anytime you see a red jersey, it's got a white jersey beside it. So they're going to make it tough. They got to play. There they go again. Mercer just knocks it right back in the zone. Backtracking in behind us, Cole Hall. And Hall has a board meeting at the far end of the rink. Soupy just puts the puck up ice, gets it up to Craig. Craig gets it on goal, and McGregor had to stop that. Johnson. Pass trying to get it out of his zone, and then it was stolen. Stolen by. Piscali, nope, number 77. I thought that was 71. That's for Tazy. If we're pronouncing that name too, so. <laughs> Grant, off to one side. Mercer just deflects it into the goal, losing his footing. Because Cole Hall, and for Tazy just wants to, that's Mercer, just wants to create havoc in the zone and gets away with it. Sam Taylor. To Janik. The puck goes down the ice. Long shift on that particular point for a couple of the own sound players. Yeah, a couple of the gas there. A little bit longer, I'm sure, than the coaching staff wants it to be, but uh, sometimes you get penned in your end there. Tough to make that change. Got to find a way to get that puck out of the end, out of their uh, zone, sorry. Well, they're being penned in and pin pinned in, of course, by. St. Thomas, and they're not doing anything fancy, just dumping it in, making making own sound, turn around, go get the puck. Just like they are now. So that makes it Brock locking. Locking, he gives it away. Locking. And McGregor makes a stop. And that's smart. And he did it. Just turned it right in on goal. And McGregor has shut the door so far. Taylor. You can see that they, they're, had, they're off the skate, then there they go. Taylor just drives it in, makes them go back. McVicker. McVicker back off a leg and through center. Locking, got to turn around and go get it again. Five minutes remaining in the game. Puck comes down the ice, chasing after it. Battaglia. Or pardon me, yeah, that's Battaglia. He turns it around. Gets it up to this side to power. Kept inside the zone, but then just knocked out of it. And then again, Soldats just turning around. And you're going to see a Joe White jersey just right on him as soon as he... Oh, Soldats doing a nice job, and then just loses the puck off the end of his stick. Blocking, just fires it back in. We're getting a whistle. We're getting a... 
Penalty. Get a penalty for that there. Twenty-seven whites going to the penalty oh. box. The twenty-seven white is Carson Smith. Slashed the stick right out of uh, Locking's hands there. We're getting slashing. No, we're oh, getting interference. interference. I thought they were calling for uh, slashing the stick out of the hands up here, but must be something else that I didn't see out there. To me, slashing is when you hit body parts, like you hit the wrist, the fan, the glove, the forearm, the shoulder. That to me is slashing. When you whack a guy's stick and it goes out of his hand, hold yeah. on to your stick. That's what I was going to say. Tell me, yeah, that's, that's your problem. You should be hanging on to your stick a little bit tighter. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I think that, you know, I don't care whether this thing's got 250 bucks. You hang on to your hockey stick. On if it. the guy whacks it hard enough, and what happens is the guys are coming in and just loosen up one hand and the stick goes down. The guy goes a penalty box. I think that's a bogus call. I think that they really should review that slashing penalty because... When we, at least when I used to play, that uh, the slashing call would be body part being hit. Right. Not, you know. Right. If that hit somebody on the bench there, the Owen Sound bench there, so. Dangerous place to be at the bench. There was quite, <laughs> yeah, a, yeah. That quite, was quite almost, the scene in the last game. Of going only, with a coach. only a few feet away from the last incident. Awesome. Just dumps it in, going to Chase, doing a nice job right out in front. Oh, just fanned on it as he, that puck was bouncing. Off a of body in front. Then he's going to drive it down the ice. Laycock getting in behind the goal. Nice pass right to Clegg as the center. Couldn't handle the pass. Smart. Went off his stick. Laycock into the corner. Clagus, pardon me, Logan Clagus for Degas. Back to Schneider. Schneider winds up, lets it fly. Loose puck in front, rebound. That's what you got to do is make the rebounds, and there was one there, but just missed it. And that's what I kind of wonder sitting up there. Why, why hasn't Owen Sound used the points a lot more when they're in the offensive zone? Yeah, it looks like a couple of kids have a pretty good shot from back there. Use it a little bit more, in turn spread uh, St. Thomas out a little bit more in their own defensive zone. Maybe give yourself a little bit more room. Get a couple of those, uh, couple of those shots to go through. Might find the back of the net or, or turn into a nice rebound. They pass, just pass up. They've been, the they've been Johnny on the spot on that thing all day. Taylor, soft up through the middle they, there. Yep. They've been using that breakout across ice, and they've just been picking it off time and time again. And uh, in behind the goal, picks up that loose puck of Schneider. Schneider twists and turns behind. Penalty's over. Game just about over. A couple minutes left, and in control is St. Thomas. St. Thomas Stars. And big number 17. I'm looking at that kid, and boy, he is big. <laughs> Matthew Mas Mascali. I think that's how you say it, but. Uh, <laughs> well, it's been quite a weekend with uh, Silver Stick. Uh, Rogers has done seven games this weekend, uh, full marks uh, to the crew. And uh, for your take, giving up your time to bring minor hockey to the residents here in uh, Owen Sound. And uh, Mescali uh, hit the score clock as the second that's, time that's yeah, happened yeah. today. But, uh, <laughs> we, guys, we, were just, we were talking half an hour ago about uh, that not happening very often. Anyway, sorry I cut you off there. Uh, that's Mark. okay. Just want to say uh, shout out to the to the camera guys. They've done a great job you've done. Mark, putting this on is a lot of work on a weekend away from family and whatnot. And... Uh, Everybody that's volunteered for Rogers, uh, really appreciate your help and your effort and the fact that you guys are dynamite. I watched the telecast with the attack on TV and I see them out of town and there's every bit as good as anybody or, or the best. So uh, I agree. And, and that's all with our fearless leader, Mark Perry, who's uh, down in the producing in the truck and we really appreciate it. Anyway, we got a minute and 23 in this game. We would talk hockey for a couple minutes. Mercer kicks it up onto his blade, but not enough. And then right on top of him is Cole Hall as he 
Couldn't get the shot away. Here come the attack in their own zone. Pass up along the right wing. Heading down ice is Nathaniel Gibbons. Gibbons is going to cut back in front. Takes the shot off the big body of the J Lucas J. Wilson in goal. There's a shot from the point. Just whistled that wide into the slot. Having trouble getting by the, the green curtain, green and white curtain that's been out there all afternoon. And the time is running down, boy. I tell you, that that program in St. Thomas is unbelievable. Is now the third team at the Silver Stick has won the, the, the championship and the right to play in New Market in January. And uh, congratulations to their organization and, and whatnot. We'll talk a little bit about that as the time's winding down. But boy, something unbelievable. Yeah, they do have a good program. Uh, coached a lot of hockey against uh, St. Thomas, both here, Silver Sticks, OMHAs, down in uh, Boston, Pizza Cup that they have down there. And they do have a great program. They're doing a lot of good things down there. They've been working hard over the last five, six years to build their program up. And you can certainly see uh, the positive impact it's had on their program. I mean, the only team we didn't see or the only final we didn't see a St. Thomas team in was the U10. They don't have a team here. Well, that's probably so why, we that's probably why they the didn't final. see them. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but still, a yeah, great program. They spend a lot of time reviewing video. Um, doing some good things here. There's a shot. Just going to put it on the goalie. And time is winding down. And that... Throw the gloves and the stick all over the ice celebration. Hugs for the goaltender. And uh, uh, what? Helmets on, fellas. I'll tell you, enjoyed this hockey game. I enjoyed watching St. Thomas and they're, 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 they're having a good time. And of course, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, <laughs> we're talking about uh, hockey and uh, this weekend. And uh, of course, uh, the Leafs are playing at a funny time this afternoon. I, I got to get Ken on the, on the road. <laughs> So we're going to have a short uh, wrap-up of, of this game. What else can you say about uh, St. Thomas? We talked about their program. They played this game methodically. They didn't waste an effort. And I don't, uh, I can't say anything positive. They got good goaltending at, uh, uh, from uh, from Wilson. So anytime Owen Sound had a good opportunity to score, Wilson put him away. Uh, Owen Sound, a good effort. They were short, they're short staff. Uh, but I think as the game wore on, they got... They were tired, and uh, they they were just bettered by a better team today. Yeah, it looks like Owens out short a few players. Uh, I'm assuming some key players at this age. Uh, they're all important. They're all key. Um, I think they have to be happy with the first period they had. We were talking about that at the intermission, right? 0-0 going into the second period against a team that lost 5-1-2 uh, in pool play. But then just, uh, you know, a few bad passes, uh, maybe not as aggressive as, aggressive as they should be. Couple penalties, and next thing you know, it uh, you know a three-one, four-one hockey game. Well, I, just a quick, uh, quick thing about player of the game uh, for um, for St. Thomas. Uh, I'm looking at 14. Uh, AJ Power picked up a couple assists and a goal. I agree. What more can you say? Is that he was all over the ice. We called his name all day. Smart player. Great shot. Two-way, back and forth. He was all, in both ends of the ice. Super. And uh, I'm not sure about Owen Sound, who I thought was the best player. You got uh, somebody in mind? Um, the, the, the goalie who ended up coming out at the end of the second period, I think they just announced him as being uh, player of the game for Owen Sound. And you know what? He did see a lot of pucks, made some, made some saves. Uh, certainly can't hang that uh, those three goals or four goals on him. So um, I think he, he made a difference, kept the team in the game, and gave them a chance going into the second and the third period. Things uh, just got away from them. Figure the coach to look at something a lot less than what I did. I never even thought of goaltending, but I think you're right. I think now that you've, you've mentioned that player of the game, McGregor and... Yeah. Uh, and Shouldice. You know what? Shouldice had a good game. Who's somebody that we think is maybe an AP player because he wasn't on the lineup that we received at the start of the game. So he, he had a good game. Scored the lone goal, and you certainly mentioned his name a fair bit as well, Gord. Well, we can give the player of the game both throwing time with those two players had excellent games. Congratulations to all the teams that participated in uh, Silver Stick here in Owen Sound. Again, congratulations to the organizing committee. It's been a positive weekend. 
and St. Thomas, uh, your program. Congratulations on winning three out of four four groups. Couldn't have been a better weekend. I know I, I couldn't have been a better place. Uh, uh, sitting in my easy chair at home it wouldn't have been as good. But Ken Williams, I'm Gord Chapman. We certainly have hope that you've enjoyed our telecast. We're coming into your homes. We appreciate it when you turn on the television. We're there. And we hear it a lot from the community, and we thank you for the nice compliments. And anyway, folks, you have a great afternoon. This is a sports exclusive on Rogers TV Silver Stick Tournament. Due to the length of the preceding program, we now join the regularly scheduled program already in progress. By talking to them and saying, this is a normal symptom for an abnormal problem. Yes. So everybody, a lot of people that have concussions go through this. So it's normal, it will heal. Yeah. And, but you're gonna have to go through it. And I think 